Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In our previous two sessions, we discussed what is correlation, correlation coefficient, and types of correlation. In this session, we'll continue the discussion and try to understand the difference between correlation and regression and discuss it with the help of an example. So, let's discuss the agenda for today's session. We'll start this tutorial by discussing what is correlation. Then, we'll move on to understand types of correlation and we'll discuss one major type that is positive and negative correlation. After that, we'll move on to what is regression, lines of regression, and then we'll discuss a simple regression model with its equation. Finally, we'll move on to Excel to discuss how we can calculate the regression using an example. So, let's begin. What is correlation? A correlation is a statistical relationship between two entities. It measures the extent to which the two variables are linearly related. In simple words, it is a measurement of strength of association between the two variables. For example, an increase in the price of commodity is always accompanied by decrease in demand. The value of the correlation always lies between minus 1 to plus 1. Types of correlation There are mainly three categories of correlation. The first one is positive and negative correlation. The second one is linear correlation and nonlinear correlation. And the third one is simple multiple and partial correlation. Let's discuss positive and negative correlation. A positive correlation means that a linear relationship is positive and the two variables increases or decreases in the same direction, as you can see from the graph. An example can be, as the number of trees cut down increases, the probability of soil erosion also increases. In the same manner, a negative correlation is just the opposite. The relationship line has a negative slope, as you can see from the graph, and the variables changes in the opposite direction. That is, one variable decreases while the other increases. To understand this, an example can be, if a car decreases the speed, the time taken to reach the destination increases. To know more about the types of correlation, you can refer to our previous videos and you can find the link in our description. Now, what is regression? The regression analysis, like most multivariate statistics, allows you to infer that there is a relationship between two or more variables. These relationships are seldom exact because there is a variation caused by many variables, not just the variables being studied. In regression analysis, there are two types of variable. One is dependent variable and other is independent variable. Let's discuss what the both variable represents. A dependent variable is a variable whose value is influenced or to be predicted. The dependent variable is often denoted by y and is also known as a predicted variable. Whereas independent variable which is denoted by x is a variable which influences the value or is used for prediction. The independent variable is also known as a predictive variable. The line of regression. The regression line is a line which is used to describe the behavior of a set of data. In other words, it gives the best trend of the given data. Regression lines are useful in forecasting procedures. Its purpose is to describe the interrelationship between the dependent variable and independent variable. The regression equation of y on x describes the change in the value of y for given changes in the value of x and vice versa. In the regression line equation, x and y are the variables of interest in our data, with y the unknown or dependent variable and x the known or the independent variable. Let's discuss the two key terms in this graph. The first one is slope. Slope is the ratio of the vertical and horizontal distances between the two points on a line. And you can see y-intercept, which is the coordinate of the point at which the curve intersects an axis. There are some assumptions we take to create the regression model. The first one is, the dependent variable is assumed to be normally distributed. The values of the dependent variable are statistically independent. This means that when we select the sample of a particular x, it does not depend on any other value of y. And the third one is error values are statistically independent. Now let's discuss a simple regression model. A simple regression model is used to depict a relationship between variables which are proportional to each other. meaning. The dependent variable increases decreases with the independent variable. The equation of a simple regression model is y is equal to b0 plus b1x plus e, where y is dependent variable, x is independent variable, b0 and b1 represents y-intercept and the slope of the line respectively, and e is the error variable. Now, let's move on to Excel to calculate the regression coefficient of a given data. We are on our Excel workbook. 
In front of us, we have the data of temperature of the day and sales of the ice cream on that day. Let's try to understand the regression analysis and summary output using this data. So, the first step is to go to the data tab and select data analysis. Then select regression and click OK. We'll get this table. Select the Y range as the ice cream sales. This Y range is predictable variable, also called as dependent variable. For the input X range, we'll select the temperature in degree Celsius. This is the explanatory variable, also called as the independent variable. One thing you should keep in mind is that both the X and Y column must be adjacent to each other. We have the label, so we'll check the label and we'll select the output range from G5. Check the residuals and click OK. Excel produces the following output. Let's analyze some key data. We got the R score value to be 0.9676, which is very good. This shows that 96% of the variation in ice cream sales is explained by the temperature of the day. Closer to the 1, the better the regression line fits the data. Now let's move a little more and analyze this coefficient. If you look at the coefficient, you will get the equation of the regression line. In our case, it is minus 176.33 plus 27.68 into temperature of the day. Substituting the temperature of the day for any given day, we can find the sales of the ice cream. With the above discussion, we can conclude that there is a big difference between the correlation and regression, although these are studied together. Correlation is used to study whether the variables under study are correlated. Whereas, regression is used to establish the functional relationship between the two variables. The equation of the regression line is of form y is equal to fx plus c. Correlation is used to establish the strength of the association between the two variables that are being studied. Whereas, regression is used to make the future predictions on the any given event. So, with this, we have come to an end to this tutorial. Thank you all for watching this session. We hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comment section of this video. Thank you again and happy learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.